Hi everybody, Greg from RPM Technic here. You know that because you clicked on the video. Um, anyway, we're going to start off this week's walk around video in the lovely projects department and we're going to have a look at this blue 964 behind me because this car is a special car. Let's have a look at some of the details. So, this 964 is special for many, many reasons. Um, first of all, um, Ollie Preston, our, our founding director, business partner, um, this is his car. When I first started um, loving Porsches and, and wanting one, I wanted a 964 as well, and I used to see this car going around Tring at usually quite a rate of knots. Um, and in about 2009, when I first met Ollie, the car had been stripped pretty much to look like this. So we're in 2000, nearly at the end of 2022 right now. So Ollie always puts clients' cars first, obviously. Um, it's now time to build his beast. This car's had a few nicknames over the years. I think the most recent or the longest standing one is Bronson because um, we joke that it's, it's never going to get out of here. Um, but as you can see, she's made her way from some dollies onto a ramp. So the car's starting to be assembled we'll show you some of the uh, components in a sec of, of everything that's ready for it but essentially this is going to be the ultimate built 964 in the UK so we'll keep this one documented because progress hopefully won't be as glacial as the last 13 years or whatever it's been um, but we'll show you as the car's going together and also we're definitely going to do a video when Ollie takes it for a drive. So at the weekend, um, Ollie spent, I think, Saturday pretty much um, completely unearthing all of the parts that have been buried and secreted around in various little nooks and crannies across the business. And I love it when it's at this stage because you've got all of these either brand new or new old stock or um, the original components that have been cleaned up, bead blasted and are just yeah, beautiful, ready to be uh, installed back on the car. The recipe for the build, I'm not going to go through right now. We will do a special video on that. But needless to say, lightweight, narrow body, lots of grunt, lots of noise, um, and very blue. So, yeah, uh, we've got suspension over here, power steering, steering rack, brakes. Um, yeah, it's going to be the who's who of parts. So let's get straight on with it. The Gimbala Avalanche. This car is wild. I don't think we've ever had one of these in before. Um, it's going to divide opinion, no two ways about it, but dear Lord, we just did some homework on the car. So me and the car are the same age, mid eighties babies. Um, back in 1985, they built 13 of these, uh, I think over an eight year period, actually. Um, they were an astonishing $700,000 back in the day. Um, the bodywork, we'll, we'll get some B-roll of all of the bodywork is wild. Um, the wheel spaces are wild. It had 375 horsepower, I think back in the day, these were sort of late twos, early threes, the, the early turbos. So it is, it is a 930 turbo underneath. Um, but yes, my lord, she's probably seen some narcotics inside of it. Um, what's it doing in here? Well, uh, the guy who owns this one's actually got a couple of Gimbalas, so he obviously loves them. Uh, it's actually in for an inspection, check over, and it's got a couple of little running faults to, uh, to attend to. But he just couldn't miss this opportunity to um, cover what is such a rare beast. And as I say, some will love it, some will hate it, but that's what it's all about. I'd absolutely love to have a go in that. I reckon she's got boost and lag, which is probably measured in days, but that's what it was all about in the 80s, excess. Um, speaking of excess, let's go and have a chat with Al in the showroom, see what he's been up to. Sales this week. So, I feel like I should be selling photocopiers of these. Photocopiers? Yeah, why not? That's not wrong with David Brent. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Bit of mid nineties fashion, the mid two thousands, early two thousands, early two thousands, early two thousands. David Beckham, it's all coming back. Spice Girls, yeah, yeah. Not, yeah. A bit handsome. Just be on me. Yeah, I was ten, eleven, something like that. Yeah, you are pretty young. You're not quite young enough to be my son. <laughs> That's a terrifying thought. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Movember. These are some fine... Do you find yourself having to go like that all the time? I keep stroking my moustache. Yeah. Anyway, um, this week we have raised £815 and we are trying to get to £1,000. At least. At least. At We're least not limiting. Yeah, yeah. So massive thank you to everybody who's um, chipped in and supported us. 
Um, and if you're feeling generous and you fancy contributing to help us get to that, we've got, what's the date today, 22nd or something? So we've got eight days, um, not too far to go. So link will be below. Feel free to click on that and uh, donate what you fancy. But um, I've got Teddy's off, I can't see a thing. I, I am, yeah. I've been I'm blinding keep from the light there. No, I'm going to persevere for my art. So how's the, uh, how's the week been? Really busy, like... You keep trying saying that every to, week. Trying, is it true? Yeah, it's working with you. It's everything has to be done the day before you actually think it needs to be done. Um, so the 993 that we've been sort of keeping track of all the way through the sales process, um, mm. we dropped that off to the new owner. So hello, Tim, if you're watching. Um, and then, oh, I can't take you seriously. It's just, it's just like a... Um, so he took delivery this week, which was really lovely. Um, he'd been really patient and just, yeah, he was just absolutely chuffed with it. Um, we then bought in, so last week as well, we sold a 718 Cayman GTS 4 litre manual. And it was so popular that when that sold, we've just got another one in. So if you're looking for one, details are on the website. Yeah, yeah you've, got, you've now got your chance to try and buy it. Mm -hmm. um, we've also taken into stock keep pointing at cars and Sam hates it a 718G uh, Spider. Uh, we've known the car for a long time now done a load of upgrades to it so it's got the low ratio crown wheel and pinion upgrade it's got surface transform brakes it's got a KW kit on it so it's basically a, G, a Spider RS without having to buy 20 McCann's yeah well even that's a theoretical car at the moment it doesn't actually yeah. exist but it's been around the Nürburgring in fact that car was uh, probably the second most liked. Were you laughing at me on the camera? The second most uh, liked uh, social media post, I think, yeah. of the year. Sam did really good photography. He did on do that. Good credit where credit's due. It was yeah. amazing. But it's a cracking looking car. It, it is. is a, um, yeah. So anyway, give us a shout. It's like thirty grand's worth of upgrades yep. and only I think ten k on the uplift on the no price brain. of the car. No so um, yeah, we'll endeavour to keep you updated uh, on next week's video with any more uh, comings and goings in the sales department. But we've also now, got a video on a Nana one. Gen 2 C2S should you map it I'm basically Mr. YouTube now I'm remembering everything also follow like subscribe tell your friends tell your grandma tell everyone what, what he said yep over and out see ya